Hello Cancer, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot. Now I'm coming to do your weekly love reading from October 9th through the 16th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. I want to thank everybody for the like, share, and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. If you would like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up, okay? Um... All right, let's make sure you check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Let's get this show on the road, okay? So, somebody is in and out of your life, or somebody, this could be you or your partner, could be just like being arrogant, and it's an on and off thing. Like, sometimes they normal, and sometimes they feel like they own you, or you own them, whatever. All right. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. What's going on with the Cancer? Cancer, love written for October 9th through 16th, 2017. October 9th through the 16th, 2017. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Oh, sorry. Jesus. Okay, so this is how the Pisces one started off. Somebody is um, breaking boundaries, you know, like just doing all kinds of little stuff to piss you off, make you mad. Okay. There we go again. Okay, so you really care about this person. Um, I'm feeling like this is more so of a new relationship, though. Or this person just recently started um, violating your personal space. Or you could have been doing this to them. I'm saying, like, doing stuff that they don't like, going through their phones. You know, just doing all kinds of little stuff, you know. Okay, so I feel like you might be doing this because you got secrets. All right, what are these secrets? What are these secrets for the cancer? What are these secrets for the cancer for the week of October 9th, 2016? Yeah. Okay, so it seems like you might have moved on, but this is a wise decision. So it seems like you moved on because this person... Is violating your personal space, and I feel like you doing theirs also. But it seems like it may be a new relationship, and it's just like the secret is is I already didn't start looking somewhere else. Okay, so this could be you, or this could be your partner. All right, cancer, cancer, cancer. All right, so it seems like you may be doing this also. You know, I think this like two things and maybe the two situations could be one person or it could, I mean, one group of people or it could be like split up. You know, you could have both or one, but it seems like your self-esteem is getting low also. So it seems like that's why you violate in personal space. That's why you doing it to them, you know. Mm. Yeah, so you don't realize that this is happening. You know, I feel like somebody might be taking your stuff or you could be taking somebody's stuff, but I feel like somebody is treating somebody like crap. I mean, like, I own you kind of thing. That's what that arrogant card came from in the beginning. Yeah, it seems like somebody is just like feeling like they own stuff because they own their way, like they already found no, they already looking for something else, okay. So, this could be you, or it could be your partner, but one of you guys, okay. So, it seems like it's more secrets going on here. What are these secrets for? So, this is the secrets against you. These are your secrets, you know, with the, um, you not realizing that 
uh, by this person violating your personal space, you're feeling like, I mean, you're starting to, your self-esteem is getting lower because you're not looking at it for what it is. Okay, so let's see what their secrets are. All right, what are these secrets against the cancer? What's going on with the love life of cancer? What are these secrets? Yikes. All right, so it seems like this person already started a new beginning somewhere else. And they started a new beginning and they really care about this person. Okay. So them little spurts of nastiness, that's because they want to go over there and be with them. Okay. Okay, this makes me feel like you may be doing things for this person, giving them gifts and stuff, and that's why they're sticking around. But it seems like both of you guys already, like, decided that you don't want to be together. Y'all just don't want to tell each other. Mm. Okay, so it seems like I'm getting the feeling that some of you guys have kids together, and that's what y'all are not really willing to make that sacrifice. But it seems like so one of you guys already got a relationship on the side and the other one is looking. Okay? All right. But y'all trying not to look at the stuff for what it is, but it's burning the hole in you. It's eating you on the inside because you know you don't want to be with this person, but you're, but you're with them. Okay? You guys don't even talk about love anymore. You just coexist. Okay? All right, what's going on with Cancer Love Reading? Cancer Love Reading for the week of October 10th through 16th, 2017. October 10th. No, October 9th. October 9th. Okay. So it seems like it may be some divorce is going on. You know, or somebody might be thinking about divorce, or you could just be dealing with a Taurus, okay? But it's a general reading. I don't call them out like that. Okay, yeah, so it seems like somebody is not working hard. I feel like in this relationship, nobody's working hard. Nobody's working hard anymore. You guys don't want to be with each other. Y'all just together for the kids or are just for the things that y'all do for each other. But I don't feel, I don't know. All right, let's go. Cancer, 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 love reading. October 9th through 10th, 16th, 9th. 16th of October 2017. Mm. So some of you guys may be starting new businesses or possibly pregnant. Mm. Alright, so some kind of message is coming through. Coming in. Everybody gonna be jealous about whatever this is. It seems like you're going to drop the ball. Seems like there's a choice to be made. Maybe you're about to get a new job and your partner or somebody is going to be jealous about it. Okay. So, you're dealing with somebody who's spiteful, nasty, sneaky. Mm. Yeah, so it seems like this person might try to mess that up for you. But you might be like about to get some kind of promotion or a new job or something. And somebody don't want you to be there. Mm. Seems like, yeah. Somebody just wants to be on top. They don't want you to be on top, you know? All right, let's go. We got the Eight of Staffs. The Eight of Staffs is upright. It says, things will now begin to move very quickly. You may face some jealousy from those who see your success. So, like I said, they're going to see... Your partner's going to see what's going on, and then they're going to be mad about it. Jealous, Jealousy is a disease. All right, so we got the two coins reversed. It says this card indicates emotional intimidation and communication. Uh, emotional or intimate. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> be very careful in any papers you may sign. Make sure you're... You understand the offer that is extended to you. So, this makes me feel like that divorce card that um, fell out earlier. So, you guys may be doing some kind of separation of uh, 
assets. So it's like read everything because this person going to try to stiff you because you ain't going to be deceitful because um they jealous of how much money that you're making or getting ready to make or what you're doing or getting ready to do. You know, they're jealous of some some how you moved on without them. Okay. So now we got the King of Cups reverse. It says, a dishonest male, deceptive, lack of integrity, not to be trusted. It can go female or male. It's a general reading, but it's like whoever this is, you need not to trust them because they're trying to stick their hands in your pocket even though they got their own, you know? So now we got the King of Coins reversed. King of Coins, it says... Prisoners who all material things, sneaky, premeditated, fictitious, and selfish. Yes, yeah, so this person feel like that they deserve everything. Everything is theirs, even if it's yours, even though if y'all not together, you're still theirs, you know. I think that's the overall thing, you know. This person doesn't want you to leave because they feel like you're their personal item as well as everything else. Everything you own, everything you do is theirs, and you just like, okay. I want to go over here, but okay. All right, so we got the Knight of Swords. Knight. All right, the Knight of Swords reverse. A lack of strategy, confidence, and self-imposed false sense of security. So you still just sticking around this person because you feel like they... They are some kind of good for you, or they helping you somewhere, but in reality, they just they holding you down and holding you back. And right now, they about to they about to try to take a big chunk out of your pocket if you don't um open up and realize if you don't stop looking other at other ways, looking at other things. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me, and we can set something up. Other than that. Have a great weekend.